Well, hello there, good afternoon to you all. So, I will now will be opening, let's say, in a way, a new segment on my channel. And this, the videos related with this will usually be posted on my talks section and I will call this segment greatest greatest anime series of all times in my opinion so I will start this with uh, until today most probably the series that I liked most in terms of uh, uh, sci-fi, space, um, opera, because the, 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 the music that this series had in his time was beautiful. Uh, and the series is called Legend of the Galactic Heroes or in Japanese Ginga Eiyu Denzetsu also uh, known by the name of Ginaiden and is a science fiction as uh, it's a series of science fiction novels written by Dr. Yoshiki Tanaka and basically this series follows mainly uh, two characters that have uh, different backgrounds and came from different places because this the overall uh, situation of the history is that this history happens uh, 115 years in the future and when mankind moved to the stars and the series happens between two factions the autocratic and monarchic regime of the galactic empire with his own planet in Odin and the democratic side the Free Planets Alliance, Alliance that has its own planet in the planet of Heinesen. Uh, and this follows the exploits and the adventures of two characters, each from one side. In the part of, of the Empire or the Galactic Empire, it follows the character of Reinhard von Musel and in the part of the Free Planets Alliance it follows the character and the career of Yang Van Li and how both men rose to power in both nations um, and the series uh, they have several novels. Uh, the original novel series was written between uh, 1982 and 1987. Yes, most likely most of you was not even born. I won I born and here before the series was as a novel and then we have a second novel series it's called legend of the galactic heroes side stories and this series ran from september of 1984 to Ju julie of 1989 uh, and we also have a manga um written by katsumi mishihara uh, and that was published by Tokuna Shoten uh, and we have several uh, uh, 
anime films and a series. Well, the, the first anime uh, film was called Legend of the Galactic Heroes My Conquest in the Sea of Stars uh, and was released in 6th of February of 1988 uh, and uh, it was directed by Noguro Ishiguro and the studio that promoted the movie were Kitty Films, Madhouse and Artland. Then we have the series and it's until today it's one of the most long, long series that existed uh, and the series called Legend of the Galactic Heroes obviously it has 110 episodes and ran from December of 1988 to March of 1997 and it was the series was directed by Noburu Ishiguro again and the studios that made the series were again Kitty Films, Artland and Magic Buzz and then we have another film uh, Legend of the Galactic Heroes Golden Wings that was directed by Keizo Shimizu and the producer's studio was Magic Buzz and the film was released in December of 1992 and we also have a third film uh, Legend of the Galactic Heroes Overture to a New War and this time the studios responsible for producing it were Kitty Films and Magic Buzz and the film ran in 1993 and then we have a series of overs divided in two parts called Legend of the Galactic Hero Side Stories and again it was directed by Noboru Ishiguro and ran from and was released between 1998 and 2000 and again the studios that made this of were Kitty Films, Magic Booth and Artland and these side stories actually is the start of the, st the series because I have all these video series and guidance because I'm a fan of this and for me like I have said at the beginning of this video is one of the most amazing series that I ever watched um, and this like I was saying this Gaiden Legend of the Galactic Hero Sport uh, no, no 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 sorry wrong this is a manga that is currently still going called Legend of the Galactic Heroes Portrait of Heroes uh, well I did not know it in a way so I will try to get it in any case um, the original video animation Legend of the Galactic Heroes side stories were it's divided in two series one follows the initial military life of Reinhard von Muso and his childhood friend Siegfried Kirk Eyes and they met several characters that later on will be very important in the original series uh, but this is their adventures as they were young soldiers in or under the military of the Galactic en Empire and the second Gaiden follows the path of Yang Wenli that kinda became a soldier by accident because he wanted to be an historian and Yang Wenli for me it's my most favorite character of all this series not only because he is an historian because I also am one eh, I'm one but his personality, uh, the way he was able to turn things around and 
he was a very honored man uh, he does not survive the war uh, but I will not spoil you if you intend to watch eventually this series based on this video I will not spoil you more but he does not survive until the end of the series but during the time he is alive he is for me the most amazing character of all the series we have very good characters uh, they all the intrigue in the series the political manipulation the assassinations uh, the war himself you have some episodes that you see the point of view of the common soldier and not only the commanding officers or the admirals or so on or the rulers you have several several episodes where you see and you see the war by the point of view of a common soldier and they did great uh, this mixture because you can see an episode or part of one episode on the point of view of a regular soldier that probably will never again appear in the series or you can see the war based on the eyes of one of the commanders involved in that battle in that campaign in that war and you can see their interactions all the problematics as a normal human beings in times of war a problem problems with supplies problems with uh, let his friends die problems uh, treasons from our allied uh, forces uh, assassination attempts on the leaders of both sides uh, conspirations to take power and so on this series is extremely rich extremely vast uh, very well developed probably one of the most uh, annoying aspects of this series is that you actually know all the name of all the characters that appear in the series and there are a lot a lot a lot of characters one more important than others but on the overall all them were important on the overall history so this for me if i want to have a top 20 anime series since my youth until today i will made this series probably number not number one because i have another favorite series and i will speak about it in another occasion in another video but probably legend of the galactic heroes will be my second choice without a doubt um, and uh, I don't know if the, the series was ever be released in English I think that it was never re released in English you can found it sub uh, but uh, I think it was never dubbed because I think that the author of the series refused to do that because it will mess up with his own story and his plot and so on. Also, uh, there are several video games adaptations and the most released uh, from to this the related with this series was done in 2008 and it's a real-time simulation game also the novels the anime or even the manga they were never been released officially in English language however you can found English fan translations, subbed fan translations, or you can simply watch it, it on Japanese. 
obviously if you know Japanese and if not uh, there are some series that have quite very good sub versions fan sub versions of this series uh, so if you are a fan of uh, space opera drama a military action science fiction for me this series is the um, one of the grandfathers of all great series that came in the 19s and early to 2000 years this is one of the series that most certainly is one of the grandfathers of all the uh, science fiction series based, based on outer space, living in space, action in space and so on. This is one of their ancestors and it was one of the first of their kind uh, in the mid 80s until the beginning of the 90s so you probably you will be kind of disappointed by the animations if you are now in your 15 16 17 14 probably you will be disappointed by the animation because the animation on this is old school animation it was the animation that was possible to do in the 80s and in the 90s however it is for me it's quite good obviously uh, if I compare it with series that are airing today in the same genre obviously you will see how the faces are draw how the colors you were used it's different obviously it's different however I venture to say that some animations of the 80s and of the 90s some of them in terms of detailed aspects of the faces of the characters of the overall environment around the characters around the action sometimes they were more perfect and more detailed than the ones that exist today because I cannot explain uh, to you um, the feeling probably someone from my generation will understand me better in a way uh, so but this is my first video of great anime series of all times and in my list uh, Legend of the Galactic Heroes takes number two on my personal list of preferences so if in some way you did end up watching this video and if in some way this could interest you browse google try to le read more about it try to eventually watch some of the movies and some of the the anime episodes however i will tell you if you are interested to watch this in order I will tell you how to watch it first you need to watch the movie legend of the galactic heroes my conquest is the sea of stars first watch this movie then switch to the series or you can do it you start with the guidance side stories if you do not want to watch the movies you watch or try to watch Legend of the Galactic Heroes side stories and, do, and then go through the series Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Uh, if you have some more details or some other aspects you can watch the movies. 
but if you are going to watch the, the movies, I will make this recommendation. You watch the Gaiden, then watch all the movies, and then start to watch the series. It's the better, it's the best way to get an hold to all the plot line and to all the story. Now I will try to edit this video and try to edit images and music and let's see if I will be able to do it. In any case, thanks for watching. Hope you stay well. Peace. See you soon next time.